ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Dubious Engineering. The wonderful Ellie Goo have sent me a smart robot car kit version 3 plus. This thing is fantastic. It comes in lots of boxes and lots of packets and you have to build it yourself. But that's a large part of what this is all about, is actually making it yourself. So what this guy has is a lithium ion battery pack on the back of it. We've then got a Bluetooth module connected to a car hat, which is like a little shield that sticks on top of the Arduino Uno you know, that's in this particular car. We've got a servo control ultrasonic sensor on the front of it. So this guy can spin around on the servo motor and sense how far it is from things. And then underneath on the bottom of the board, we've got three sensors. And these are little infrared LED sensors. And what they do is they can see if things are black and things are white. And if you put a little black strip of tape down or you paint a black line on the ground, the car will follow the black line on the ground. The great thing about this, it comes pre-programmed. Once you've assembled it, it just works immediately, which is fantastic. So there's no messing around trying to program things and uploading software. You literally you have something that works straight out of the box. And that is actually the thing that I really appreciated about it. Another thing that this robot car from Eligu comes with is a little remote control. And you can use that remote control to start pre-programmed sequences of events like uh, distance sensing and like line following. And the other thing you can do with it is actually just use the arrow keys on the remote control in order to move the car around. Once it's built, it works really, really well. And actually that's one thing that I will say, the instructions are absolutely fabulous, dead easy to follow, very clear pictures, very clear English in there. Uh, the build quality of, of this is absolutely solid as well. In my humble opinion, this is definitely worth the money that they're charging for it. And I would say it took probably between an hour and two hours to build and get up and running. And that actually, you know, if you're doing this with your kids or something like that to sort of teach them a little bit about electronics and robotics and Arduino and coding and that kind of stuff. And in my opinion, this is a real game changer for educating young people or maybe even yourself on how to go ahead and wire things up, uh, how things work and the mechanical assembly of all of this. The other thing, this comes with its own tools as well. Let's put it to the test in the kitchen and see how it does. What a cool piece of kit this Eligu Smart Robot Car Kit is. I really enjoyed it. I must admit, I really enjoyed putting this together and uh, playing with it afterwards. Now, please understand that it does also have Bluetooth. As you can see, the kit comes in plenty of boxes. 
each box has a variety of different parts and ultimately what I did is I just opened all of those boxes spread everything across the table and then used the assembly and tutorial guide in order to understand how to put all of this stuff together and it really wasn't that hard it took me I would say between an hour and a half and two hours something along those lines all right <laughs> so let's get stuck into the build i'm not going to bore you with all of the details but i just want to sort of show you sort of show you sort of show you mish money penny my sean connor is back to the lock with you nash uh, i just want to show you quickly what this is like and the instructions are absolutely fabulous there's no problem at all understanding the instructions um and they're very clear so we take this we take one of these we get the bag that says for the motors and we start assembling stuff with the screwdrivers provided So it takes just a few seconds to get yourself oriented and make sure you're doing things the right way around. But uh, there's these little bars here, these little metal bars that go on one side of the motor. You see there's a bolt, there's a hole pattern here where there's a hole that runs down through here and you then bolt up through the bottom in order to fit them in place. All the motors fitted and all the cables come back on the inside here like that. Okay, so according to the instructions, the next part of the mission, we're going to be fitting this, which is the L298N, which will be an H-bridge driver, a PWM H-bridge driver for the motors. And uh, apparently we need to open this bag, which is a 2 for you know L298N. <laughs> Everything's really well marked up. So this guy has some little spacers here which go underneath and you'll notice that uh, at this end of the perspex here you've got two little holes and at the other end you don't have those two little holes and you need to have this biased so that the heat sink is facing the opposite direction of the two little holes here and this is always the fun bit trying to get the spacer in place and encourage the bolt up through the middle. There it is, look at that. You just use your Allen wrench here to pop that in place. Tweak it with the Allen wrench on the other side, just like that. So once you've got that bolted down, then you need to connect all of the appropriate cables in place. Now this vehicle also comes with a line tracking module which has little infrared sensors on it so it can follow some black tape which is also provided. So let's go ahead and fit that and here is the hardware for fitting the line tracking module. So the first thing we have to do for this line tracker is fit these little brass studs to the PCB and then once we've got all of those fitted, we can fit the PCB to the underside of the vehicle and bolt through from the top. Now, the only thing that Ellie Goo didn't include in their little toolkit was a small wrench. So thankfully, I have a small wrench. So there it is, all fitted. The potentiometer goes at the front here and the connector goes towards the rear. Now, we need to start work on the other part of the chassis. So here we have the UNO, and please note it has a hole pattern on it, one, two, and three, one, two, and three. Those three holes are facing away in that direction here, and these three holes 
are facing like that. So you can see the orientation. So in this case, the head of the bolt goes towards the top and that goes down through the spacer and through the perspex. Interestingly, this then leaves you with one spacer, screw and bolt left over. And as you can see, there's a hole here in the PCB, but no hole in the perspex. But don't worry about that. That's very solid. Now we get to fit the shield. And this is the Eligu Car Shield PCB. And this PCB is fitted in this orientation. And you can't easily get it wrong because there are cutouts, there are pins missing in various sections of the pin headers. Just fit on the top of there, a bit like a little sandwich, and just a gentle bit of persuasion, and there she is. Now it's time to fit the Bluetooth Receive Transmit Unit, or the UART, and that just pops in position just like that. Now it's time to fit the battery. This is an Eligu lithium ion battery. It has a charge port on the front of it here, so you can plug in a micro USB cable. It has a switch on the side of it, so you can switch it on and off. And then there's a little cable here, which will plug into the car hat PCB on the top. Please do make sure that the switch on the battery is in the off position before you fit this. And there we have it, the battery fitted with the cable in place. Now it's time to fit the ultrasonic transmitter and receive PCB. And you can see this guy here has a T next to it, which indicates that it's the transmitter. And this guy has an R, which indicates it's the receiver. We need to fit this PCB here to a little standoff that bolts to a servo motor. This is a little micro servo motor. Listen carefully. <laughs> what a lovely sound. Feed the servo cable through the hole and this whole assembly here bolts to the chassis with these three holes. And once you've tightened that down, go ahead, take the cable, feed it back up through the hole here And that will plug into the servo port, and the servo pin header right here. And it shows you on the PCB, ground, plus, and signal cables. And the ground normally would be the darker of the cables, and the positive would normally be the, or the plus voltage would normally be the red cable. So the orientation is just like that. Now we need to plug in the ultrasonic sensor. So that's done by taking one of these four pin cables here, uh, plugging it into the back of the PCB, and then plugging that into the only four pin connector on the PCB, on the car hat PCB, which is marked up as ultrasonic sensor. Now we need to install the brass standoffs and create the car sandwich out of the lower motor board and the upper sensor and controller board. So once you have all of those brass standoffs in place, go ahead, connect the power, the two pin power cable, and also the six pin servo drive cable. Once you've done that, then go ahead and present your control and sensor board. Making sure that you feed these cables through the holes before you screw everything down. You can't get these connections in the wrong way around because 
they all have little orientation tabs on them and they're all different sizes. You'll also want to connect the line tracing PCB which is on the very bottom of the unit here. And the wheels are fitted easily with these long screws. Insert the screw and using the tools provided carefully secure that wheel with the screw. This car kit comes pre-programmed by Eligu. When you turn on the power supply, lights flash and the ultrasonic sensor stands to attention. So we can see three LEDs that are lit or not lit under here, depending on what the sensors are reading. We can see a green LED on the Arduino, and we can see a red LED on the car hat PCB, showing that everything is turned on and ready to go. Next thing to do is to remove this little piece of plastic here from the Eligu control handset. This should then enable the battery. Let's see what happens if we ask the car to move. <laughs> Well, ladies and gents, the Eligu Smart Robot Car Kit. Please give us a good old thumbs up. I'll pop a link in down below. You can buy this on Amazon. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Cheers and beers, guys and girls. Thanks ever so much for watching. Bye for now.